Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part two of this melody style piece, Bye Bye Blues. Now like we discussed in the earlier parts, uh, we discussed the chords that we're going to be playing. Now throughout this tutorial I'm going to be talking about what strings to play with our thumb. And uh, a lot of you have seen in ukulele tabs and, stand and sheet music as well and standard pieces, they describe the strings like A, E, C, G as 1, 2, 3, 4 and that's what I'm going to be calling the strings so every time I say those numbers those are the strings that I'm referring to so the piece of music it starts on an F chord that chord and what we do with our thumb we pluck the first string so that's uh, the note A just like that. It's with the side of the thumb. So what we're going to do then, we're going to pluck this string once and then strum down three times. Like this. I'd like you all to try that. I'm just strumming like how you'd usually strum the ukulele and that's uh, with my first finger. So we pluck with the thumb and then we strum with the first finger. The next note that we're going to play, that we're going to pluck after that, is the note C which is on the third string. And then we're going to strum three times again. So we're going to end up with this. play that again for you. Now the next chord that we're going to do is the D flat 7 which of course is that chord there. Now what we're going to do we're actually going to be plucking the third string again but uh, instead of a C it becomes a C sharp or a D flat, however you like to, uh, however you like to call it. So what we're going to do, we're going to pluck this, just like that. So all together, we're going to end up with just like that. I'll just play it again for you. to do we're going to uh, carry on str strumming for another bar still on that D flat chord so it'll be so all together we're going to have then we go back to the F chord and like we did how we started off the piece we do the same kind of pattern so we pluck the first string again strum down three times, pluck the third string and strum three times. Now the, the, the different part here, instead of doing the D flat 7, we do the D7. So we go I'll play you that actually, I'll just play you that uh, little section. So once you've got that, play from the very beginning and you should end up with this. That's the first section. Now what we do now, what we do now is we do a G7 chord. But what we actually do, when we're doing this G7 chord, we actually take our finger off the first string. So we end up with that chord there. And keeping that shape, we pluck the first string. And we strum down three times. 
So what, so what we do is we pluck the first string, strum three times, pluck the third string, strum three times again. And then what we do, we do, I think, I think everybody can do this chord, there's no fingers on the frets <laughs> whatsoever. And basically we pluck the first string, and then pluck the second string. Just like that. So uh, basically we're strumming down three times there of course like previous. I'll just play that little section again for you on that uh, G7 shape one with the finger away. So it would be like this. Now the next section, we do an F chord and what we do, we of course, we release the finger, that, that finger there on the F chord, so we're sounding the note G on the fourth string. So we basically strum, we pluck once, so we go, we go. So basically what we do is we pluck once, strum down once, we pluck the second string, strum down once again, Then what we do, we do an A minor, strum down once, we do a D minor, and we pluck the third string now, and strum down once. So I'll just play that little section. a scale isn't it really now what we do now for this next section we do a C7 chord but what we do we add a finger over onto the second string and what we do we pluck the second string here strum down once release that finger pluck the same second string again strum down once, then we get that finger again, but we put it on the third string and pluck, strum down, then we do, we pluck the third string, which is note C, and do a standard C chord. So what we're going to end up with is, It's very tricky this little section is, but uh, once you've mastered this little bit, the uh, the start of the piece repeats itself, so you're actually three quarters of the way through is once you've got this far. What I'm going to do, I'll just uh, do a little recap from the very beginning of what we've uh, learnt so far. So. So anyway, once you've got that, it recaps it. So what we're going to do, the piece of music, of course, starts off again. Um, so it's um, on the F chord again. Just like the beginning. Even this bit's the same again, where we do that G7 shape. And the A minor, well, the open chord, sorry. Now, the only difference bit is here, we do uh, the F chord like before with the finger off, and pluck the fourth string, strum down once, pluck the second string, then we do a D flat 7, we pluck the second string again, strum, pluck, strum, and then finish 
on an F chord. <laughs> 